April Lee Hatfield, an associate professor at Texas A&M University's History Department, delivered this year's Milton M. Klein lecture held at the University of Tennessee. The lecture series began in 1994 in honor of Mr. Klein, who served as the university's Alumni Distinguished Service Professor of History until his retirement in 1984. This year's lecture detailed how free and enslaved individuals traveled to pursue economic opportunity or to escape bondage, and in doing so they crossed a Catholic Protestant boundary as well as the imperial borders separating English, French, Spanish, and Dutch jurisdictions. Most would do so to escape slavery, but would still find themselves enslaved upon migration. On the one hand, it might seem obvious that one could change one's place within the social and legal structure by crossing an imperial boundary. From an English society valuing individual rights based on property ownership to a Spanish society retaining a stronger commitment to corporate identities in general and religion in particular as the basis for both rights and status. But initially, the developing slave-based society of Cuba seemed to have been out. On their arrival, the group of refugees <coughs> did find themselves re-enslaved to the widow Francesca Modesta de Silva, apparently with the knowledge of Governor Lopez de Conga. Mrs. Hatfield is also an author, with her latest book entitled Imperial Boundaries on Land and Sea, Human and Legal Intersections of Spanish and English America from 1670 to 1721.